Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to do an energy simulation using Energy Plus, Open Studio, and Topologic Energy. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is look at learning. If you go to topologic.app and click on learning, we're going to follow tutorial number four, which is called analyzing energy performance. So let's go ahead and open up the PDF file. And we're going to follow that. This is uh, slightly out of date. It applies to 0.8.0. We are at 0.8.5 right now. So we're, there are a few changes, very minor changes that we're going to let you know about. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop to put all the files in. So I'm going to call that uh, topologic, topologic Energy Tutorial. So we'll just put everything in there, go back here, and we're going to download a few files. The first thing is to download the tutorial file, so which is the A file here, the DYNA. So I'm going to right click on it and say save link as, and go to the desktop, and put it under the Topologic Energy Tutorial folder. And it's called Topologic 06A-Tutorial04. Save that, and that's saved. And then we're going to save the zip file as well and unzip it. So save link as, again, we'll save it here in the same folder. And that's saved. So if we open this folder, we should see them here. So I'm going to take that one and extract all. And that's all there so we'll keep those around because these are the things that we will need great so now we open up dynamo and that will take a little bit of time so just be patient please all right so we are going to open the DYN that we just downloaded, which is this one. Okay, there it is. So this is looks a bit complicated, but basically it's building this tower made out of six stories uh, from scratch. That's why it has all of these things. Uh, basically, the green stuff is uh, dynamo geometry, and then the blue stuff is uh, topologic, topologies, I guess, cells and faces and slicing and all of that. So let's go ahead and run this and see what it gives us. Okay. So basically it's a tall building of some sort, six stories, and it also has uh, a glazing on the outer surfaces, indicated by these rectangles. Every story has four perimeter cells, and then the whole building has one cell in the middle, which is the uh, atrium, as you can see here. And that is not sliced by the, uh, by the floors. Great. So you can follow these if you'd like to figure out how this was done. Uh, basically making uh, surfaces and apertures and applying them. And the final step before displaying, these are all for display here, is that we add the apertures to the cell complex and we get here at the end is a ready to go cell complex. This is our building that we will feed. All right, so we will follow this tutorial uh, right here. And we'll do a few changes to it. Uh, but this is the end result. It's kind of a color-coded set of spaces. 
It, ref it refers to 2.6, Open Studio 2.6, but in fact, we are going to be using 2.8, and I'll tell you about a bit of a change that we need to do. Uh, so basically, uh, it says, first of all, to drag and drop a energy model by cell complex and to feed it these types of uh, numbers and strings. So we're gonna go ahead and copy them from here, which is quite handy. Copy them here, go over, and then let's open up topologic energy energy model by cell complex which is this big node here and let's go ahead and do a code block and save the information we had in it and I'll go through these uh, what they mean so the first line, 0 to 50, 10, is a sequence of uh, Z levels that represents the floor levels, starting from level 0 all the way to level 50 here. Obviously, we could have computed this parametrically from the cell complex, but um, this is just a shortcut to it. So the floor height is about 10, whatever 10 means, 10 feet or whatever it is, 10 meters. Uh, it's not a realistic building. Uh, so those are the floor levels, you feed them in here. The next one is just a uh, optional building name. You can name it whatever you want. We call it multi-story building. The type is commercial. This is supposed to be a commercial building, which affects obviously uh, the kind of constructions and the kind of uh, heating and cooling that's happening. And then every space is the, is the default space type. Every space is specified as an office. We can change that in the actual um, OSM file, if you know about Open Studio. Uh, one change from the way we did this tutorial early on is that we don't, we no longer use this minus one, which means ignore the glazing ratio and use the actual apertures that come in through the cell complex. So for now, we decided instead of feeding in minus one, we just leave it unconnected. So we're not going to use this minus one. And then 25 and 20 is basically the cooling temperature and the heating temperature. These are the temperature at which the cooling system and the heating system uh, activates. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, feed these in. As I said, leave the glazing ratio uh, unconnected. Just connect the cooling temperatures and the heating temperatures. And we'll go through the other stuff. The building, the first one, is the cell complex. So let's go ahead and bring in the cell complex and connect it. And if you have a cluster of faces that are triangles, you can use them as shading surfaces. So you can put surfaces or faces around this building in order for them to cast a shadow on it. Uh, but we don't have that for now, so we can leave that alone for now. All right, so at the bottom we need three more things the weather file the design day uh, file path and the open studio template path those are uh, these files here that we have downloaded so let's go ahead and point those so we need a file path so let's go ahead and use the first one is the epw the energy plus weather file this one so the next one we'll just copy and paste and change the file to be the ddy file we don't use the stat file it gets read automatically i believe and then we need the template path now one thing about the template path is we need to check it to make sure that it is compatible with 2.8 so we need to open it in notepad and check the header on it before we connect it. So let's go ahead and look at it. This is called minimal template 1.120. Uh, let's open with, where is the open with? And we open it with a notepad. And sure enough, it says 2.6.0, which is not correct. So all we need to do is change this to 2.8 and save it. And now we can load it in. We'll try to update the files and the tutorials on the website. All right, great. 
So this will create an energy model, doesn't run the simulation yet, but just creates the energy model ready for the simulation. So we're gonna run it one time just to check that everything is correct. Yep, run is complete and we have a topologic energy energy model. So the next step is to run an energy simulation. So there's one method here called energy simulation by energy model. <clears throat> All right, so we feed it the energy model and then we need to feed it the studio, the open studio exe file and the where do we want to save the output. So let's start with the output first. Let's go over here and go up one level and let's create a new folder because there's going to be a lot of files. Might as well put them in a folder. We're going to call that output and we'll use that here. All right, so first file path and you need to have uh, 2.8. So we need to go to uh, C drive, open studio 2.8.0, BIN, and then here you'll find an open studio.exe file. Do not use the open studio app, that's just the graphical user interface app. Uh, just open the open studio.exe. Right, feed that in. All right, so now we need the output directory. For that, we use a directory path, this one. And we point it to the output. Where is that? Right here. Here it is, output. And then the last one is just a boolean flag to let it know that we want it to run. So boolean flag, uh, make it true, and it's ready to run. So now when you run here, it will launch uh, Open Studio. That will take a bit of time. We will just watch it, and while it's running, we'll take a look at the next steps that we need to do uh, in the uh, tutorial. So here goes. It will open up this uh, command window. Um, you can ignore these warnings. We have uh, discussed this with NREL. Uh, they told us, yes, these warnings are uh, to be expected. They don't affect anything. And now it's running the simulation. Obviously, it's going to be a yearly simulation. It's going to take a bit of time. So while it's doing that, uh, let's take a look at the next steps here. So we did all of these steps. We are running the energy simulation. So the next step is to actually query the simulation result. So when the simulation is done, it will create an SQL file or database. And then you have a node that will uh, enable you to read the data back in without running the simulation again. So you can change the information here for the report name and the uh, for table name and the column name, etc., and it will read those in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these just in preparation now. So this will get the cooling loads uh, that are in watts for the entire facility. I'm just going to go ahead and copy those. All right, so this was actually completed. It didn't take too long. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up simulation result here. And the first one is by energy simulation. Zoom it in so that you can see it. Great. So we connect the energy simulation, we do a new code block, and we paste those strings in. And as I said, if you know Energy Plus, you can change those to whatever you want to get information out of the SQL file. Great. Um, right. So now we need to uh, use this data that we're getting here in order to color this building. So the first thing we're going to do is just to see that, that we are actually getting correct numbers. I'm going to go ahead and connect this to something called simulation result dot values, which you find here. And let's go ahead and run it. And if you hover here, you'll notice you have 25 values. And they're 25 because we have six stories. Every story has four perimeter cells. So that's six times four, 24 plus one more space, one more cell for the atrium, that makes 25. 
So we have these 25. They're always organized. And these are the cooling loads in watts. So how do we uh, uh, color this? So we get an RGB values. We get those RGB values here. So we feed it the simulation result. So now we have RGB values. In order to use them, we need to do some trickery. We need to do a list of transpose because we need to build colors out of them or dynamo colors, that is. So I'll show you how to do that. This is normal dynamo stuff. So if I run this, now I have every RGB separately. So these are the reds and then you have the greens and the blues afterwards. So if you look at the tutorial, it tells you how to do it in a code block really quickly, right here. And it also specifies an alpha, which is transparency. So I'm gonna copy this and I'll do a code block. And it's expecting an RGB list, which is this one. And now it will create the correct 25 reds, greens, and blues. So now we can do a color by, R by ARGB. We feed it the alpha, the reds, the greens, and the blues. And we do a run. So now we have 25 colors, which is exactly what we want. Great, so now we can use the display node, which is expecting an energy model and the colors. So we feed it the colors, and then the energy model comes from the original energy model that we had here, energy model by cell complex. Take this node and connect it. And this will give you uh, the colors. Now, in order to display those, it will clash with this kind of pink uh, colors that we have here. So we need to remove these, hide them. So these are in this blue box here, display the cell complex. So go ahead, right click on this one and unpreview it. So now we just have the edges, which is fine. It helps make things clearer. And now we can run this. And there they are. These are the, the colors, the cooling loads of this building. You can imagine this dark blue is the north side and spaces that are close to the ground are a bit warmer and of course the atrium in the middle is a bit warmer as well. Now you can change if you want as I said if you know about uh, energy plus and SQL files you can change these so for example let me try changing this to uh, heating heating loads you get much darker colors and the values will be different as well of course if you notice here those values are different this one is obviously the atrium in the middle and these are all the other spaces that have approximately the same uh, heating load let's change it back and as I said, it, it loads this data without having to run the simulation because everything is in the SQL data file. That's that. And if you want the actual data and you want to display it, everything is in the output uh, folder here. So everything is in here, the OSM file, the reports. So if you know about these things, we can open them up in a web browser and you can take a look at all the data in there. All right, thank you very much.